Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do these really awesome rainbow nails. I am super happy with the outcome of this. It was my first time trying a gradient, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is paint your nails with a clear base coat. This is so we can protect our nails and so the nail polish can last longer. After the base coat has dried, we're going to paint our nails white. So I like to do two coats of white and we're doing this so that the colors stand out really nice. I decided to use acrylic paints because they dry slower than nail polish and you can blend nicely with them. You'll need red, blue and yellow. You're also going to need a sponge. I would recommend using a makeup sponge, but this was the only one I had. You're also going to need a paintbrush. So I have my thumb placed on my sponge and this is going to kind of be a guideline of where I need to place the paint. So I'm placing down the blue paint, then I'm placing down some red paint onto the sponge and this is going to be the width of my thumbnail, the biggest nail. And we're going to place down the paint. Once we have red and blue, I'm then going to go over the blue with the red and this is going to create a purple. You may have to add some more blue on top of that. Once you have a purple that you're satisfied with, we're then going to paint on yellow. We're going to paint it right in the middle. So make sure the sponge is nice and soaked with the paint. Then we're going to blend the yellow and the red together to create an orange. So you may have to grab some yellow and go on top of the red, but kind of just blend them together. Once you have an orange that you're satisfied with, we're then going to grab the yellow and blend it in with the blue to create green. You can also add some more yellow on top of this just so that the yellow stands out a bit more. So there is your rainbow. Now we're going to get the sponge and place it on our nail and we're just going to pat it onto our nail and kind of move it uh, from side to side. It may take a few coats and some practice to do this. The first time I did it, uh, the colors kind of got a little muddy and blended together, but I actually really like the outcome because it's not as bright and it's a little bit darker. If you want the brighter colors, uh, don't do the padding motion. I would recommend just placing the sponge on your finger and finding the yellow in the center of your nail and molding the sponge to your fingernail. You can also reapply the paint and do it again for brighter colors. Now your fingers will get dirty, but we can clean this off very easily after we're done applying the nail polish. If you want some of the colors to stand out more, like here I don't really have much yellow, I just grab some fresh yellow paint and I'm painting it directly onto my nail. And to blend it with the blue and the red, I'm actually going to clean my brush with water and a paper towel. Then with a clean brush, just go over the two and kind of blend them together. It may take some practice, but it's really easy to do with acrylics since they take longer to dry. Once you're all done painting your nails, remove the excess nail polish from your skin by using a Q-tip and nail polish remover. After you're done painting, always apply a clear top coat. Since it's acrylic, it will chip easier, so you want to protect your beautiful artwork, and it actually makes the colors more vibrant. Once your top coat is all dry, you now have beautiful rainbow nails. I think these are really fun. You can also add glitter on top of them to make them a little more sparkly, but I love these and I hope you guys try them out yourself. Be sure to leave a comment if you do try these out. I'm going to leave video responses open so you can leave a video response of your result. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!